Got some samples here. Quartz barite, galena sphalerite. This is from a new showing we discovered a little while ago. We have a new area that's really close to the showing where the rain's washed off stuff and we found a new little area that's mineralized. So this is a really good grade of lead, zinc, copper, got some cadmium in it, silver, a bit of gold. So I'll show you a few samples that we just pulled off and then we'll go take a look at this new area that's mineralized. Here's some of the rock beside it. You can see it's disseminated with chalcopyrite and pyrite. This is a volcanic rock, sort of mixed in with host and part of the deposit. Here's another nice one. Some of these don't look that amazing, but if you go up close, that's high grade ore right there. Last sample, and then we'll go take a look at where these come from. So take a look at this here. This is where all that mineralization is coming from. I know it doesn't look like much, but I'll pull one of these off and show you how nice it really is. I don't know if you can see all that. Solid mineral. Another couple we just pulled off there. Nice patch of swell right there. So here's some of the last ones that we're pulling off. We just actually found another little area down the road. Same sort of mineralization, a little bit more sphalerite and pyrite. We're going to go take a look at that showing. Found a new little spot on the road here. Take a look at the mineralization consisting of pyrite, a bit of sphalerite in there, and a bit of chalcopyrite in there. Here's another sample we just pulled off. Basically a solid hunk of sphalerite here with pyrite. It's a nice rich sample. It's gonna run at least 10 to 20% zinc for sure. We have this small little outcrop here that's exposed and this is where I found that sample, right here. Basically a solid little 
mass of mineral. See if I can get another hunk out here. Take a look at that. So this is obviously a nice vein in here. So I think what we'll do is we'll get an XRF on this and see the content of zinc, lead, copper. Most likely based on this area, there's gonna be a high, high silver content between 400 and 1,000 grams per ton maybe a few grams a ton gold. That is a rich sample in a rich little area that we'll have to come back and hammer away at. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.